So depending on where you are in the world, it's time to uh, think food plots. It's uh, the middle of May here in Northern Ontario. We've had some really nice weather. Slowly, but we got it. We got some rain a couple days ago. And my one food plot that sees the most sun is rock and it uh, really came in well. And uh, I'm pretty happy. I was uh, very, I was um, really thinking about tilling it under and planting some soybeans or some brassicas, putting the electric fence around it, keeping the animals out until uh, like September. But uh, let's have a little look at it. I think you'll be impressed. Food plot's uh, done awesome. It's uh, clover coming in real strong. Um, this is the spot where the uh, alfalfa had grown and you can see that there is some alfalfa but you can see that the clover has really started to come up. It's beating uh, the alfalfa for the most part. So I think I'll probably just leave it. Um, tomorrow or the next day I'm gonna pick up some fertilizer, probably 150 pounds or so, 100 pounds, because this is only about a quarter to a third of an acre so I'll probably do about a hundred pounds three bags or so we'll see two bags sorry they're 55 pound bags so we'll do two bags we'll spread it out and uh, that'll really do well here I'm not even gonna worry about overseeding um, this area here you can see it is uh, slowly coming in and usually on the back side of that stand that old tree stand um, it usually is really thin and not growing very well but it's awesome over there everything came in really really well so i'm pumped about that but uh so this stand or uh, food plots looking really good and healthy we're not going to worry about it but uh let's check out the other side so looking at this side you can see that it's pretty lousy um, there is clover growing but it's a lot of uh, weed not the good weed, but uh, just weed in general. Um, there's some grasses, some dandelions, strawberries, wild strawberries. Um, looks like we pretty much just grew rocks and lots of them. So um, I think maybe we'll spend a bit of time in here. pick up some rocks we're not gonna get too crazy with the rocks I'll back the, the gator in we'll just work at this pocket here we'll pick up uh, the rocks throw them in the back of the gator we'll use them to fill in a mud hole or two and uh, we're gonna have to plant it with something I'm thinking maybe uh, fall rye or winter wheat something along those lines uh, they don't do well here as far as animals eating them I planted fall rye on my trail before and uh, the deer just walk down the trail they don't even look at it so um, I think that we're we'll do something as a cover crop slash green manure maybe just clover again I like to have a bit of options um, brassicas do grow in here they just don't green up very well like we don't get a, a lot of leaves so that's kind of the reason why I didn't want to do it here and I wanted to do it over there but there's no way I'm going to rip that food plot up because it's doing awesome it's it's one of the better food plots that I've had growing over there so got to come up with something for here but uh, for now I think uh, we're going to enjoy the day but uh, later on this week or next week we're going to come in we're going to start prepping this food plot picking up some of the rocks obviously if you look we're not going to get them all but if we can focus on an area and pick them and then focus on another area the next year, we can uh, slowly get some of the rocks out of here. But that's the way it is when you're in the bush. No access to a tractor or anything like that. So this was basically a skitter that came through um, five or six years ago, seven years ago, uh, longer than that, eight or nine years ago. He came through and he pushed all the brush and stuff away 
pushed a lot of the good topsoil or the better topsoil away and left me with these rocks. But hey, it is what it is. We're gonna work with it. There is dirt, so if we can keep improving the dirt, turn it into soil, we're, uh, we'll, we'll be laughing eventually. So you can see that that side's really starting to work. That was the side I focused on pretty much from day one. That's why there's that wood stand in the tree. Um, that's where I sat the first first couple years once this food plot was rocking. And uh, that's where I killed my buck out of last year in this food plot here, or two years ago, I guess now. I didn't get one last year. This is where I had the close encounter with the doe. She come right through, right through here. And then they go either on this side of the tree, on the left side or the right side, and they go down through. They run parallel to that food plot and they go to the neighbors because he feeds them uh, corn. So food plots, they're really important. We're gonna get this one working, uh, come up with a game plan. Got to get another mineral block put out. Uh, when you put them out early when there's still snow and ice, um, the snow and uh, ice really help uh, break down the salt as it thaws and melts and all that good stuff. So we're gonna have to put another one out there. I like to keep one out as long as possible, but uh, the deer are probably close to calving now if they haven't, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're gonna get fertilizer on that plot. We're gonna look around, maybe do a little research and uh, get something planted over there. So we'll be back when we uh, have a bit more progress. Hey guys, while we're out at the food plot, we've got uh, some new seed. We've got a combination of, it's called a jackhammer blend. So I guess jackhammer is a, a variety of radish. It goes down fairly deep and pulls nutrients up. It's got that, it's got uh, some rye. It's got a clover blend. And then I've got also some purple top um, turnips to plant. So. We're going to come through here. You can see that it's pretty uh, pathetic, especially up there where the deer had been uh, ripping up the corn. Lots of uh, rocks and stuff, but uh, that's the way it goes around here. This is in the bush. This is uh, a little bit of a white pine or a red pine, I should say, thicket. There's uh, quite a few of them around. Nice, straight, tall hydropole material. But uh, it's a nice food plot because the deer come from back in here and they come through this food plot, they'll stop and eat and then they'll make their way over to the other food plot and then they scoot over to the neighbor who uh, generally feeds corn. So it's a good travel corridor. That's why I like to uh, plant it. My tree stands just right there. Maybe you can see it. Right up there, over there I guess. So uh, it's a really nice spot. We just seen, or I just seen uh, two deer. They were really, really close. It was pretty cool to see. 
Um, just about could have reached out and touched them. The closest I got was probably uh, maybe 10 yards, 15 yards. So pretty close. We've got the old spring dragon behind. Right down there. Get the old girl working. It's uh, actually a pretty good drag, especially for around here. And uh, price was right. So we're gonna get uh, ripping this up. Stay tuned and uh, we're gonna get planting as soon as we're done ripping it up. Well, you can see we went round and round for oh, about a half an hour. We went up in there a little bit. Uh, nothing too crazy. Tried to get uh, as much as I can. But, uh, it's not too, too bad. We are slowly building soil. You can see that there's more, uh, more and more of the black stuff versus uh, the sand. So that's always good. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move the gator out of here. I'll leave uh, my drag, I just leave it in the bush here because uh, that's where I do my food plots. It's still pretty accessible to get to if I need to. Yeah, you know, if someone wants to boil it or whatnot. So <clears throat> we're gonna get that out. Then I've got a small uh, handheld seeder that I like to use for these small seeds. If I was doing buckwheat or something like that, I'd use uh, the big bag. But uh, little Scott's handheld, just a single hand unit with the little do uh, dial on the side works really well for uh, these small seeds. So we'll get them mixed up and uh, start seeding. So here's the little uh, seeder that I like to use. It uh, works pretty well. It's just a small Scots turf builder one. Nothing fancy. This is the uh, the jackhammer seed, and these are the uh, purple top carrot or uh, purple top turnips. So they're pretty cool. Well, there we have it. Food plots uh, seeded, ripped up pretty well. I'm not sure how uh, <clears throat> how good the seed's gonna do. I probably could have used an extra couple pounds to lay it on a little bit thicker. Uh, I forget how many pounds I had in total. This is about a third, third of an acre. So uh, I think I had three pounds, two pounds of the uh, turnip. And I think I had one and a half pounds of the uh, the jackhammer mix. So probably a little thin, but I think uh, we'll be all right. It'll uh, still do its thing. We should get some uh, growth anyways. Uh, normally when I'm done seeding is I drive all over it, <coughs> get it uh, packed down. But they're calling for rain today, tomorrow, the next day, and I think the next day. So I'm just going to let Mother Nature take its... Uh, do its thing I guess and uh, we'll leave it so the spring uh, food plots are in the other side's doing really well it's really really thick still over there so uh, we'll see how that goes I apologize if the volume's not uh, audio is not very good I forgot my external microphone so I'm just using the camera's uh, audio we'll see how that turns out um, yeah so if you don't have food plots in you really should I think I seen a turkey track a couple weeks ago in some mud. I'm really hoping that's the case. Um, if it is, maybe we got some turkeys around. I seen something black. Uh, looked like a big bird, but it's really hard to tell um, when I just dropped some wood off out at the shack. So, uh, Anywho, that's it for now. We're going to have a quick beer, get back to the house, 
the uh, mosquitoes are really coming out now and uh, I'm sure there's something we can do around the house outside in the yard so cheers guys and uh, I hope you enjoy the video feel free to uh, to share it and like it and if you're not already subscribed hit that red button down below and uh, follow me on Instagram I just started that uh, about a week ago having fun uh, posting pictures every day uh, it's a lot easier for me to do than always putting on a video uh, so and if you don't like it you don't have to spend uh, five minutes thinking that you might like it and then you don't so anyways hope you enjoy your weekend it's Saturday it's kind of miserable but it still beats working we'll see you later